In the layout area of the Properties Inspector, you can control the way objects move within groups and resize on the design canvas. I have a number of tiles here that I'd like to reuse in a tablet design. I'll begin by resizing my artboard. When I group objects like the header here, I can resize the group and responsive resize applies built-in intelligence around how the objects within the group behave. Notice how the title remains centered and the menu here moves towards the right. Responsive resize is great, but sometimes I need more specific controls. When I come in and try to resize this tile, everything looks pretty good except for the icons on the lower right hand side. I want both of them to stay on the right as I extend the width. If I undo that resize and click on the icons, notice here in the Properties Inspector, I can apply a manual override. Now when I resize, the tile looks just the way I'd like it to. Padding and stacks are also terrific features that allow you to move objects around on the canvas in a very modular way. These tools use content-aware layout to automate moving, nudging, and resizing objects as you make layout changes. When I select the tile and enable padding, notice how with the S key held down on the keyboard, I can visually roll over the edges of the group and adjust the padding on all four sides of that set. If I come in and enable stacks for this same selected group, I can simply grab objects within the group now and drag them above or below the other objects and they just move out of the way. I can even select this full set of tiles, group them together, and then apply a vertical stack to the entire set. When I duplicate the set across the screen, it's very easy to start to randomize the content and simulate a random set of tiles. And that's some of the layout features in action.